Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is my very first Fragrance Friday since probably July. So again, my name is Kim. If you are new to this channel, please feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below. I would love to have you here. Now, I like doing Fragrance Fridays. It has been a long time because I have moved. I have moved from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Vancouver Island, British Columbia. And after the move, I had to move out of this house and we had to do some major renovations. So I've taken you to my bar, my lounge, my sexy grown up space. I have a bunch of fragrances that are my top sexy winter time fragrances. Now, winter hasn't hit yet. Technically it's not till December 21st, the winter solstice, but I'm gonna share them with you anyway. I have eight fragrances that are my top picks for the winter. Now, some of them are also top picks for the fall. I generally like to wear a lot of the fall inspired fragrances into the winter time. So the very first one, so my number eight, if you will, is going to be from the Mercedes Benz. And this is the Mercedes Benz Club Black. Now, this is a, promoted as a men's fragrance. I would say if you're like me, who enjoy like the spicier, sexier, unisex type fragrances, this would definitely be up your alley. Now, I think the glass is colored. Otherwise, I'd say the juice is like my perfect juice color because I love that amber tone, which to me screams rich and beautiful. You can find this on fragrancebuy.ca, not sponsored. I do, however, purchase a lot of my fragrances from that site. They did have this back in stock. I put myself down for notifications. It was like $50 Canadian. So the main accords from Mercedes Club Black are Amber, Vanilla, Balsamic, Warm, Spicy, Woody, Smoky, and Powdery. The top notes read Bergamot. Mid notes are Incense and Jasmine. The base notes are Vanilla, Benzoin, and Woodsy notes with Ambroxan. Now this one's not a heavy hitter in the sense it's gonna last a long time. That does tend to happen with most lower priced items. Um, this again is one of my favorites for this time of year. So that's why it made the eighth spot. Coming in at number seven is one of my absolute all time favorite fragrances. And I will wear this at any time of the year. I tend to wear this fall and winter mostly. And it's one of the most perfect blending fragrances. That is none other than Kaylee's Vanilla 28. The 28 means that they actually went and spent about 28 different times trying to come up with this concoction that is now Vanilla 28. That's how all the names are labeled. You'll always see a number behind it. I also have Elixir 11. That means that the 11th try was the good one. So Vanilla 28, now look at this juice. I've had this for about two years, it's rich. Again, this is the type of juice that I absolutely adore. Love the color of this. And I love this on its own, it's a sugary, beautiful, sweet, almost sugary, brown sugar, butter. Also the real vanilla, like the real deal vanilla for baking, which is super expensive, but smells absolutely amazing. This is absolutely gorgeous. Again, like I say, it's one of my absolute favorites that I have in my collection. And I also enjoy using this as a layering piece. The main accords for Vanilla 28 are sweet, amber, vanilla, woody, powdery, floral, musky, and warm spicy. Top notes read vanilla orchid and jasmine. Mid notes are brown sugar and tonka bean. Base notes are amber, amber wood, musk, and patchouli. If you guys love vanilla fragrances, I'll try to remember to link the video above. I've done a few of my top vanilla fragrances. This makes the list every single time. Highly recommend. The price point for this one here is the smaller of the, like they've got a travel size, this size, and a larger size. This at Sephora can run you about a hundred bucks, I think it is. Uh, the larger size is about 150 Canadian dollars, of course. But with Sephora having lots of sales these days, I would definitely check it out and don't skip on this. It's very good. And there's a reason why it's very, very hyped and goes out of stock often. Coming in at number six is a beautiful, very expensive fragrance. So this is where we're gonna be dipping into more of the niche fragrances. I love this. I love the designer of this. You're gonna notice this name I'm gonna to toss around, Cecile de Zerokian. She has made so many of my top favorite scents and she and I have like a great minds, like we think alike when it comes to these fragrances. This one is my only fragrance from Amouage and this is in material for her. Now, marketed for her, they have a taller version for him, slightly different notes, but essentially you can wear them, guys, gals, whatever, swap it out, it's all good. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous packaging. Like, look at that lid. I love it. One of my first days back home, I did put this on. So comforting, so sweet, 
so spicy. I love the cardamom, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove, the vanilla. I am living for winter fragrances. Now I love the winter period, but any fragrance that smells like this is definitely my top. So I did pick this up when it first launched and I'm never looking back. The main accords for Homage material read Amber, Vanilla, Balsamic, Woody, Warm Spicy, Aromatic, Smoky, Patchouli, and Sweet. Top notes read Elamai and Patchouli. Mid notes are Madagascar Vanilla, Benzoin. Base notes are Tonka Bean, Incense, Gayak Wood, Lapimum, Agar Wood or Oud. Osmanthus. Again, this is why it's in my top. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. It's spicy and she lasts. That's one thing I will say for most niche fragrances, at least the ones I have. Niche meaning like this is not a designer. It's not by, done by Calvin Klein or anything like that. This is beautiful. Uh, they last a long time. One to two spritzes if you're daring from my point of view. And you can smell this on you all through the next day, if you put the same shirt back on or what have you, you will smell just like this. It's gorgeous, you guys. All right, another fragrance I absolutely adore, hence why this is on the list. Now, one of the fragrances I did put on my body when I opened up my box of fragrances, which have been sitting in a box since July until the early December, was from the House of Oud called Dates Delight. This is delightful. Again, I did purchase this one on fragrancebuy.ca. You can sometimes get a really great deal from the House of Oud on that website like I was mentioning. Oh, this is sexy. Wintry fruits, the dates, the sexiness, a lot of the spices and the sweetness, the vanilla and the amber. It just plays so well together. I 100% love this. This again was one of the first fragrances that I did put on me when I first got my fragrances back out of the box, figured out where they're going to go. I sprayed this on me because I'm like, I need I, I need you in my life right now. Main accords read sweet, vanilla, warm, spicy, honey, amber, cinnamon, and fruity. Top notes are dates and peony. Mid notes are cinnamon, caramel, tonka bean, and kumarin. Base notes, honey, sugar, vanilla, benzoin, and lavenin. Coming in at number five out of my list is just, it's beautiful. I love her. Again, it's one of those fragrances. It's a niche brand. It lasts a long time. This is such an attractive scent for men and women. It is targeted for both. It is a unisex fragrance. Beautiful, 100% recommend. You may be a little bit surprised at what my number four is. Now, it's also a fragrance I just love in general. It is one of my top 10 fragrances in general, regardless of the season. But I tend to wear this one spritz because she is strong. And it's by none other than MFK. And this one is in gentle fluidity gold now they do have a gold version and a silver version and the gold and the silver version are identical scent notes on the pyramid that we will discuss in a moment here the silver and the gold ingredients are different and therefore how much they actually put of each concoction together really changes the fragrance now for me loving the sweet the spicy the vanilla heavy this is definitely my jam i like the silver but the gold is my favorite now this is a very expensive bottle of perfume i got the 30 mil it was expensive but worth it because you just need uh, one spray and seriously you're good and 100 recommend that this one i would say leans a little bit more feminine but i would say guys and gals if you like vanilla the wintry type fragrances a sweet strong amber do it because it's amazing. Main accords for Gentle Fluidity Gold are vanilla, powdery, amber, woody, fresh, spicy, aromatic, musky, sweet, and soft spicy. Vanilla, amber, musk, woodsy notes, juniper berries, nutmeg, and coriander. So number four on my list for my favorite winter fragrances. I haven't worn this yet. I am, however, going on a little bit of a date night this weekend, and I think I'm going to wear this to our dinner and then we're having friends of ours over for dessert to come and check out our new home, pretty much a new home. Um, so I think I'm gonna wear this. This is definitely a special date night fragrance for me because I just feel like it's just so special. You might be surprised that the fragrance I'm about to tell you is a number three for the winter fragrances. It's interesting because you guys know me talking about this over and over again and I normally tell you it's my number one fragrance for life. And that's still true. It still is number one for life. But when it comes to winter, I feel like I can wear this in the fall as well. And this is none other than Nishane's Ani. And I'm going to try to remember to put the video I did of this, again, designed by Cecile Zarokian. Like, seriously, you guys, she and I, we are like 
we sisters. Ani is something I heard about many YouTubers were talking about. The big blast is ginger up front. It then settles into cardamom and then the most delicious vanilla. And when I say this niche perfume or fragrance, because men and women, it's again, unisex. This is an extra to perfume, which means heck yeah, you're gonna smell this for weeks. Literally you're gonna put your shirt away or your sweater and you're gonna put it in the closet. If you spray it on there, your whole closet's gonna smell of it. And that's okay with me, I'm totally fine. This is still my number one fragrance for life, but when it comes to rating it for the winter season, it is my number three. The main accords for Nishane's Ani are warm, spicy, vanilla, woody, powdery, citrus, amber, aromatic, soft, spicy, balsamic, and fruity. Top notes read ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, green notes. Middle notes are cardamom, black currant, Turkish rose. Base notes are vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, musk, and ambergris. This is still my number one of all time for life, but my goodness, you guys, if you can find this, again, I found it on fragranceby.ca for a way cheaper price than actually ordering it straight from uh, Paris and that. So you guys, I 100%, if you like my reviews on anything vanilla, if you like spicy, if, if you particularly enjoy more of the winter fragrances, I would say get some because the next time I purchase this, it's going to be the big 100 mil because 50 mil, I'm savoring it. I know some people are like, well, how can it be your favorite when you barely have even touched it? I need one spray. I need one spray and I only use this for fall, winter, generally speaking. So 100% recommend. Coming in at number two is also designed by Cecile Zerokian, my favorite nose and fragrance, as is the top one. So you can, you can sort of see a theme here, you guys. I love her. <laughs> I would love to meet her in person. This is coming from a house called Jovoy and it's called Remember Me. So this here is a fragrance, depending on when you wear this. If it's the coldest weather possible, you're gonna get the milkiness, the milk and the chai, like the cardamom and all the fun spices, cinnamon and all that nutmeg, you name it, they got it. But I also wore this in the spring once when it was starting to warm up and I got more like tea leaves, which was interesting because I actually like that fragrance. It actually kind of spoofed me a bit because I was like, oh no, everyone told me it was chai tea. I had bought it in the spring, received it in the spring, weather was warming up and I was like, oh, it's not as chai tea as I, rem I wanted it to be. And then I wore it in the winter time and went, oh my gosh. So I wore this again to work last year around Christmas time and I had a small little office. I know I wasn't supposed to be wearing a fragrance, but I did. I'm such a rebel. But anyway, I sprayed a little, one spray of this, went to work and someone said that this smelled like Christmas in my office. And that was this. I didn't have any like scent things going on in my office because we were not allowed in the clinic, except for this. This reminded someone of Christmas and I highly, highly agree with them. So the main accords for Remember Me by Jovoy are warm, spicy, lactonic, vanilla, citrus, aromatic, green, floral, fresh, woody, and tropical. Top notes are cardamom, lemon, and bergamot. Mid notes are tea, ginger, frangipani. Base notes are milk, vanilla, woody notes, and cedar. You guys, I love this one. Mm. This is such a great fragrance. I love this. Again, it was one of the ones I sprayed on me when I opened. Like, I didn't spray them all at the same time. Basically, when I found the box and I opened it, every day I came up to the house, I sprayed a new fragrance on. And I, I remember going home that night down to where we were staying and smelling my shirt. Like, <laughs> going, oh, it so, smells so good. So, um, yeah, I was super giddy when I finally got into this. So, at number two is Remember Me by Jovoy and 100% recommend. And again, Cecile Zerokian, she can do no wrong in my books. The number one fragrance on this list today is also designed by Cecile Zerokian. <laughs> it just happens to be. And the reason why this is at number one is because this fragrance is winter for me. This fragrance almost brought me to tears the first time I received a sample from my friend Emmy. It reminded me, it was middle of COVID, like just a tail end of COVID and we couldn't travel as we all know. And so I missed my family, missed some Christmases and some traditions that we had, of which a lot of them happened to do with food. Now, when I smelled this particular fragrance for the first time, I brought a tear to my eyes because it smelled like a dessert that I grew up every Christmas. It's all, the only time you got it was plum pudding and hard sauce. And this is none other than Teo Cabanel's Cafe Cabanel. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Love this fragrance. It is beautiful. It's buttery. It's Christmas cake-like. There's dates in it. There's vanilla. There's sugar. There's milk. 
like the buttery milk. This is 100% what I'm going to wear on Christmas this year. I want to smell like what I'm about to eat. Just not the turkey, because that's gross. That's weird. The main accords for Teo Cabanel's Cafe Cabanel are warm, spicy, vanilla, lactonic, cinnamon, coffee, sweet, powdery, and caramel. Top notes are cinnamon, coffee, mandarin orange. Mid notes are butter, milk, heliotrope, rose. Base notes are caramel, tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. So that's why this is my number one. Like all those scent notes I just read to you guys are just like, there's a lot of similarities in the scent note descriptions uh, to each of these fragrances that really are a standout for me that really, to me, scream winter. Guys, I would suggest, I, I don't know where you can get this other than the website for Teo Cabanel or Twisted Lily. You're likely not, not gonna get a discount from this anywhere because it's very hard, it is from Europe. I did pay a lot of money for this, but I am not disappointed because like I said, thank you to Emmy. She introduced me to, to something that just brought a very special memory to my mind and I will always remember that every time I wear it. All right, you guys, that was everything. I hope that was good. It was my first video back doing Fragrance Friday and oh God, how many months is that? Like four or five months. I don't think I've done anything since July. So anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video again. Like this video if you did enjoy it and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe down below. And I'm hoping to do Fragrance Friday a little more often. All right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.